You do seem like you're in shadow. <laughs> you look great. Okay, so so hi everyone, and we have to look at the camera, even though looking at ourselves is fascinating. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, yeah, looking at the camera is better. Looking into the void, um, hmm. then I can look at you. What if I look past you but not into the camera? <laughs> Just a vacant stare. Yeah, yeah. Why are you so? You're so. You look great. Your color is really good, but I'm real blown out. Cause. Over here, you get blown out. But I can't figure it out yet. I don't know how don't to know do how light lighting. Works. It's I don't probably that. I... You probably just hang a thing there that does something. Oh, some sort of scrim. Or, or put a thing there that reflects. Yeah, you know? some sort of reflector. It's too. That's it's too much work. How light works, I guess. It's 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 too much work. Not that I don't want to do the work, but it's. I just don't have. Then you're a lighting expert, not a uh, content an expert vlogger. Person. Yeah. Well, that doesn't. That's not very flattering. Okay. Well, you know what? The sun is moving across the sky, we so both, it'll change. We could both just move over here. Well, we should have figured all this out before. We tried. We did try. This is my husband Eric, and uh, he's the love of my life, and <laughs> and I I met him in a bar. Mm -hmm. Mm. and um classy yeah that's what yes yes very classy uh i was a lady and we got married four months later so uh yeah you're the love of my life yeah i love you amazing. so much oh yeah yeah, yeah. so so i was telling you oh sorry right. i was telling I'm you about this <laughs> i used to laugh right um, I was telling Eric earlier that, you know, like the explainer video that I've done, which you should watch if you haven't watched, um, I finally figured out vlogging and it was like, I was, I don't know. I just hadn't figured out that it's really for other people. It's not for me. It's not for me to be like talking about my life. If I talk about my life, that's fine. But it's because I want to keep people company, you know, like they keep me company. You know this. You've seen that I play these videos. Oh, yeah, of course. What do you think about that? About you playing the videos? Yeah. Because I think it's a little weird. I think it's like having TV on in the background. Mm-hmm. But no ads. Um, I'm a YouTube well, premium. Well, unless you pay. Yeah, don't pay for YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, but I do. But it's like TV on in the background. I mean, that's the only thing... I can compare it to. But there's no canned laughter. There's no no ads, no music, really. A little bit at the top and bottom. Depends on what you're watching. That's true. Do you, what do you think about YouTube? I hate it. I know. This I, I is a leading question because I know you hate it. <laughs> what do you yeah. hate about it? I've got my wine. Uh, it's disorganized. It's chaos. It's not fun to click through. It's not fun to just let it play. It's noisy. It's... I don't know. It's not You're looking up into the camera. Right it's now. not directed. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's it's just too much chaos. Yeah. Yeah. The algorithm. Well, the algorithm's probably pretty. I have no interest in the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What I, I, I like. I want to just go look at that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Do you feel like a robot? I am a robot. I am a robot. I feel like a robot. <laughs> so one day. I was walking doo, 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 through a lobby of an office doo, building. Mean, doo, 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 well, we'll get to that. Okay, yeah. So I was walking through this lobby, this um, lobby in Chicago, and and I said, I don't know why Eric and I were talking on the phone. Well, I know why we were talking on the phone, but we were talking on the phone, and I don't know why I said it, but <laughs> but I said quite loudly, "I am a robot." <laughs> Just like really loudly. And this girl, I'll never forget the look on her face. She was like, <gasps> I, just, I just scared her to death. I am a robot. So now we say that quite often. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am, yes, we do that too. And then the other thing that Eric was saying, see, the, here's the thing, darling, is that we can talk about things. We can talk about anything. We're content machines. We're, we're content machines. And we're going to answer a philosophical question. We're going to discuss one together. But the point is we're keeping people company. So it's not about like, oh, what we have to say is so amazing and so interesting. I mean, it's right. going to be, but <laughs> but but it's about it's about other people, about keeping them company. And I know for a fact like Scoots. Yes, it is like Scoots. I know for a fact that there are people out there who need that. And and this is a service. We're providing a service. So anyway, so yeah, so one day I was walking through <laughs> an office building. I'm always walking through buildings. Um and I was on the phone with Eric. 
And what did you do? Why don't you Why don't you explain what you did? I gave you a soundtrack for walking, and it was like you're like, hang on a sec, I need to like go, you know, yeah. to this lobby or something. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll give you a soundtrack. And and I was like, and and so I'm walking, and he's doing that, and I'm like, stop it. Stop it! Oh God! Oh God! It was it was like awful. Because, and then I was like, Oh, don't! I'm not walking. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go and walk. And as soon as I started walking, he did. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? It was awesome. It was a little faster than that. Did it? Did it? Did it? Yeah. So that was pretty funny. Good job. Um. So we're in London. We are. What's the weather like? Windy okay. and rainy, mm-hmm. with a touch of a, a touch of a chill. It is chilly. I understand now the damp thing, the dampness. It's damp. It's a cold here in London, and I love it. I love it. Um, it's a cold that kind of heat wave coming. Oh yeah, yeah. I love it because it, it, but it does kind of get into your sort of gets into your bones a bit. Like you're, you're sort of a damp cold, so you you understand when you're here for any length of time, you understand the tea. You understand the blanket over the legs when you're sitting in your chair. It's great. I love it. Yeah, there was a heat wave coming. It's going to be in the 70s. It's literally what they said in the news, correct? Yeah. They were like, heat wave coming in June. 20 degrees Celsius, right? Yeah. Heat wave. I was like, (laughs) I'm from the Midwest, you know? A heat wave in like... Iowa or Chicago is like 101 degrees. That's a heat wave. It's a heat wave. It's a heat wave! It's not, not like a heat wave. It's like a heat tidal Why wave. Do I... Why do I look boxy? Boxy? You don't look boxy. You look good. Is it your stripes? Probably. I look, I look very rounded, probably because of my round planet on my shirt. I like that t-shirt. It's uh, the Idols. Mm. It's they're... a good band. Yeah, they're good. Maybe we should wear our Idols t-shirts at the same time only only british t-shirts in britain oh yeah great sex pistols uh oasis okay so the, let's the pogues the pogues the pogues <laughs> sorry the pogues the pogues um they're irish but they're from london i was singing like an irish uh the the hills the hills yeah danny boy mm-hmm. the pogues the pogues that's funny okay well i mean so here, this is the hat. Yeah. This is the hat of, of, of questions. The hat of joy. Yeah, the hat of joy. Well, I don't know about that. But um, I figured that this might not happen always. I think probably it won't, but it's it's a hook, you know? And it's a way to have content to talk about that, you know, would be hopefully engaging in the background. That's the tagline for the show. Mary keeps you company, because sometimes you need something on in the background. That's it, you know? That's it. So, um, would you like to draw a question? Sure. What, what types of questions are these? Well, they're philosophical questions. And the, the, the one thing I realized is... Like, I, who am I? Mm, yes. But, yes and. Mm. Um, there's so many of these. And I realized I took this one list uh, from the internet. And I took it, and I only printed out like five pages of it because it's a very long uh, document. And I think I took out, like, the pages I printed, I think, are a little bit more in the political Hmm. sort of structuring society part of that document. So there's going to be more, like, I don't know, look within yourself and what is metaphysical, sort of what is the nature of being kind of philosophical questions. These are a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Okay, great. Um, Okay, so I'm going to have you draw um, a question. Hmm. What if I read it? Well, you're going to read it. Oh, I'm going to read it? Yeah. Out loud. Should I read the number? Mm Mm-mm. Should there be limitations on the right to free speech? Oh! Do we want to go here? I mean, we have to. Mm, Maybe. I mean... Yeah. I I mean, mean, do we even understand what the laws are in the country we're in? Libel, libel laws? Libel. Libel laws. I think, laws. yeah, libel. Uh, libel yeah. Uh, are different in Canada and the UK than they are in the US. You can go to jail for, you know, denying the Holocaust. That's true. You can. But not in the US. So are we talking about in America? 
Yeah, I think I think should there be limitations on the right to free speech? Well, what's your first blush? What's your rapid fire answer on that in the land? No. Okay, why? Well, because what is your goal in limiting free speech? You you, you have a motive, mm. and and it probably is to suppress someone else. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Thanks I everybody. Think we answered that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, scene. Um, I so I agree. Um, and I, I mean, it's, you know, the reason I was like, oh, no, should we go you there? You agree we should not limit free speech? Correct. Okay. Uh, there should be no limit on free speech. None. Zero. Um, and that, and it's a, it's a hot topic. Maybe we should call it Mary's what hot if, topic. What if your language harms me? Well, that's just it, is that I... I know that there are people, well, people are dumb. By the way, that's kind of the conclusion I put out there in the first episode, which is like these philosophical questions. Most of most of the time, the answer comes down to, well, people are dumb. So, hmm. you know, X. I don't think people will appreciate being called dumb. But I'm dumb. Everyone is equally dumb. We're, we just, we're just, we just don't know anything. We're just as intelligent as each other then. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I cannot tell you the roles have reversed. <laughs> the misanthrope is now being very positive and yeah. Um, no, but I think I think that yeah, people are dumb. So they say terrible things sometimes. Damaging, hurtful, barbarous things. But, and How, they, they may not be damaging to the people around them. Right, exactly. That's the thing, sort of, sort of, that's uh, a very good point. Mm. Mm. These are deep, deep thoughts, deep questions, mm. and deep answers. Thank you, Eric. Um, so you just can't, you just can't tell someone what they can't say, no matter what, because as soon as you tell them what they can't say, someone will tell you what you can't say. And I, I mean, I have, I, 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 I'm a moderate, um, independent voter, neither Republican nor Democrat. And this channel will not go deeply into politics, oh God. But I will say that I go <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> and I go, I mean, I, I'm like in the minority among my peer group to some extent, because I'm like, you know, let let the icky people, My, Milo, Shmilo, what's his I don't, name? I don't even want to say his name. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's just, he's just awful, you know, but this guy, this, right wing he was gay he was young he was part of breitbart anyway you know college campuses were not allowing him to come and speak and they were like throwing bottles at him on the stage and like you know protesting his 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 lecture or whatever and i think that's wrong i mean i think the reason we've gotten into this pickle in america is nobody listens to each other and you can totally hate what somebody says but they should be able to say it and you should listen to it so you know what to say, well, right? I, th I think, you know, one theory that people hold for why free speech is valuable is, you know, those people who say things that are harmful will be judged by the town square, right? Mm. And, mm. and the internet has ruined that. So they've found each other in places where mm. they can find their echo chambers and reinforce mm -hmm. their ideologies instead of being judged in the town square. Nobody gives a shit what you say on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. um, so so there's a, a part two to this question probably, which is like, how much is this, you know, should there be limitations on free speech in society versus mm. the internet? Mm. Who, who's, who's responsible for speech on the internet and controlling speech? I mean, no one, hopefully, right? I mean... Yeah, I mean... Uh, again, mm. once you start editing ideas and, and mm -hmm. determining who can express which ideas and, and can't others, you have a 1984 type situation. So. Yeah, it's really true. Um, but is yeah. it good that people who deny the Holocaust are, you know, forced to, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? be held accountable, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. for their, their speech. I mean, free speech and accountability are not mutually exclusive, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But being held accountable by your peers versus by laws is different. So, uh -huh. yeah. God, I'm glad you're on the show. I think we need to have it be Eric, Eric and Mary. Merrick keeps you company. Uh, you're great. I love you so much. Um, oh, yeah. So, okay. So, yeah, that reminds me of, like, 
Well, you said it, the public square, right? Or the town square. I think, yeah, public square. Mm -hmm. People people are held accountable in society for what they do to some extent, you know. Um, Like if you steal from the the local butcher, you know, and and people know that you did it, like, you know, you're going to have to deal with being the person who stole from the butcher, you know, like you're a dick. (laughs) So that's, you know, maybe, maybe it would, it's a deterrent. It's like a deterrent from doing that, hopefully. Um, for most people, they're like, I could steal that slab of beef, but I'm not going to because the consequences are too high. Even if I don't get caught, like my neighbor will know that I'm like too broke to buy that awesome side of beef. And so it'll be like, what did he do? Whatever. Yeah. Accountability in the public square. Um, but on the internet, you're anonymous, right? I mean, you can be, you can be totally anonymous. And so there is no accountability because you can just change your screen name or change, you know, you can't, if you steal from someone in IRL, you steal from the town, you know, butcher, you did it and you have a house and you have an, a name and you have a face and people know it, but on the internet you don't. So, so, and that's, that's why I think like, yeah, there's, there are no rules on the internet about, about free speech. And so it's just crazy out there. Sure. Well, and there's, you know, I, I guess it's, if we're talking about the internet versus mm-hmm. society, you have roles in society. So you mm-hmm. know, if you play the role of the, alarmist or the skeptic or whatever in your town you know you sit in your bar and spew conspiracy theories or something Mm -hmm. or you're like i don't believe this thing or whatever it's like you're like that guy like everyone knows you're gonna yeah exactly be that guy and and you stir you know debate it's healthy you Mm -hmm. know arguably but but if you find yourself on the internet Mm mm-hmm and all it is is a room of those people reinforcing each other's ideologies mm-hmm. or ideas. Mm-hmm. Not even ideologies. Yeah, right. Cre- creating not, an ideology. They're you know not I mean? good enough to be ideologies. They haven't thought it through that much, right? Well, I mean, they're getting there, right? Um, yeah, then, you know, is that healthy, I guess? And maybe it's a, a debate about public health more than mm. free speech. Mm. Interesting. So here's a question, a little tangent. Why do, do people, I mean, to be anonymous, like, why do people get so, like, irresponsible with anonymity, right? Like, why, like, if you have a mask on, like a masquerade ball, you know, and no one can see your face. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, yeah. right? Nobody knows you. Same right? idea. Yeah, you're anonymous, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, you can be anybody for a weekend, you know, mm-hmm. go to... Um, do anything. You can no do anything, you know, and then, like, a masquerade party, you know. I went to one once. It was a New Year's Eve party, and it was a masquerade party. And I have to say, I mean, I was like, well, this will be fun. I mean, I had this mask on, and I felt like a badass. And it was interesting to be anonymous. And and so on the and, – and I did feel a little uninhibited. I mean, it wasn't like eyes mm. wide shut or anything. Even if it was, you probably would think that was awesome but um i mean i just mean like you would be like wow i hope you had fun you know what i'm saying i turned that on once i turned on the tv in amsterdam i was in holland (laughs) once and and there's this weird weird porno plane i was like oh my god what is this in amsterdam no i know i was like oh they just show pornos all the time in amsterdam and it was eyes wide shut it was eyes well yeah yeah, that was was a weird porno it was i never saw it porno a porno well that's what it looked like well, a is pornographic it a... film? <laughs> what, what do you call it? <laughs> no, it just seems weird because people talk about porn on the internet. They're not like, it's porno on the internet. But like back in the day when it was like VHS and DVD, it was a porno. <laughs> anyway, so so I was at a masquerade ball and, well, a ball, it was a party, whatever. And I ha- did have kind of a different, you know, I was masked. I could like, I could be anybody or I could just, or I could not have the stuff I normally do. I could let that go because I'm usually a little too eager and I'm a little too socially anxious. But with that thing, I, I could be, I was smooth. And so on the internet, if you're anonymous, you know, you can be whoever you want to be. So, I mean, why do people, it, so often it just turns to disgustingness, you know? People are, in an, they're anonymous so they can be like, Mary Fonz, you're the worst, like, blah, blah, blah. I mean, in the comments section, you know, there's going to be terrible things eventually, maybe right, maybe now. Sure. And people don't have to be accountable. I don't know you. So you can say whatever you want. And it's probably not your real name or obviously, because it's a screen name. So it's like, you know, 
booby 526 or whatever, you know? I mean, I think some of it's just screaming into a pillow, right? Like, you just have an empty comment section. Like, it doesn't matter what content you have. Mm -hmm. People are just going to express whatever's in their, you know, squishy, chemical-filled brain. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be anger Mm -hmm. or, you know, joy or confusion Mm or, I mean, they're just going to spout everything. Yeah, the id, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's full of rage and pain. (laughs) Basically, yeah. This has been... (laughs) Mary and Eric keep you company. It's getting darker and you're you're falling into this darkness and you're like, we're like, uh, everyone is full of rage and pain. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hey, I think that was really good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think it was awesome. It was interesting. I've never been on a video. Well, yeah, you've never done YouTube. This is your first ever thing. Yeah. And I know we're like looking at the monitor and then looking back at the camera. We're new at this and it's it's hard not to like do this. But also when you're talking, I want to look at you. I don't know what's I don't know. I just looked at you the whole time. You you're, did. You're beautiful. <gasps> yeah. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> we won't do that that much. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Mary and Eric keep you company. I hope we kept you company and I hope there's lots of videos by now and you can just play all on this channel and uh yeah just feel better ba, 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 da, ba. Dun, 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 nope, dun. that's copyrighted oh mm.